All right, from Peace Corps to politics to parenthood, Dick Celeste has done a little bit of everything. He certainly has, and he was born right here in Cleveland, and more specifically in Lakewood. He's a Lakewood native. He led Ohio, of course, as our governor for two terms back in the 80s, and today he is sharing his stories in a new book. We are so thrilled to have you here. It's, you know, we've covered you. We've, we've <laughs> over years and all the things you've done. It's such a treat to have it's you It's good here. to still be here. Amen, right? You know. right? Amen. I, I love that you called it in the heart of it all, too, using that Ohio Absolutely. slogan, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Great book. Well, you're welcome. Your, your dad was a mayor. My dad was mayor of Lakewood for eight years. Yeah. Mostly I was off to college at that time, so I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get to see him in action as much as I would have liked. But do you think you had maybe political aspirations for knowing what he did? Or? You know, I, it probably was a stimulus yeah. to it. Uh, and then the opportunity to work with Chester Bowles in India, who had been a governor of mm -hmm. Connecticut and a congressman, uh, and who encouraged young people to take an interest in politics. I think the combination of Frank and Chet and then that's, that kind of role, Steve, really got you rolling into politics then at that point. Um, yeah, I, well, I did. In 1970, mm -hmm. state representative. Um, and uh, I enjoyed that, but I really didn't. The legislature wasn't my thing, so that's why I ran statewide in 1970. And so you were governor twice. Governor twice. And then you did consider a presidential run, didn't you? I did. Uh, I took a look at it. I thought, you know, I had... I had been reelected in Ohio with 60% of the vote. I figured I, I had traveled uh, the world, really, uh, both uh, working for Bowles and as Peace Corps director. I thought I had the, uh, the tools to be a very good president, yeah. but I couldn't bring myself to do it. We're looking at some of the photos from the book right now. Feel free if you pick something out, something that kind of catches uh, your eye. If somebody remembers Judge Ann McManaman, I mean, that was her swearing me in as state rep. And oh, wow. Chuck Kerfus, a Republican head, and then my dad swearing me in uh, as lieutenant governor. That had to be special. Oh, yeah. So and that was, and, excuse me, that was when you had to run for lieutenant governor. That's right. That was, that separately. You separately. And, separately. And you beat Jerry Springer in the primary that year. I, I started right. Jerry Springer on his TV yes, career. Oh, he, once, he once, I met him in an airport oh. 20 years later and he thanked oh. me for, wow. for getting him. Because he lost, so then he decided. He lost to... and he went down to Cincinnati. He had a program there and it got syndicated and that was the beginning of the well, Jerry Springer show. Does he give you royalties for this? I mean, no, I got no. No, I got no. <laughs> I mean, come on. Bad, right? <laughs> yeah. At least no, no chairs from, thrown at you, yeah, so well, that's yeah. good. Right, right, right. We saw a, a photo with you and John Glenn, and another photo with you and President Carter. I mean, these, I, yeah, you I were work, in that life. Right, I worked for President Carter as Peace Corps director, and, and what a wonderful human being he is. And John Glenn was special. We campaigned mm -hmm. together. I think the picture was of us campaigning together in 1982, and I remember there's a wonderful picture in the book of Annie Glenn you know, feeding me pizza oh, no. as we were waiting for the election returns yeah. to Wasn't come in. Wasn't she darling? She what was, a she darling was totally lady. totally special. Yeah. yeah. As people learn yeah. about your life and then some of the things you've done outside of politics as well, I mean, what, what are people going to gather from as they, as they pick up some of the stuff after politics? Well, my hope is that, that uh, they, they feel like there's a real opportunity in public service for them, whether it's as a volunteer mm -hmm. uh, in supporting an organization uh, or by getting involved in supporting candidates or running for office themselves. And I hope to spend time with young people. That's my favorite thing. I suppose when you have seven kids, you get you used to You do have seven right. kids. You live out in Colorado <laughs> I live now. in Colorado now. You had a, an incredible way of, of getting everyone together, Democrats, Republicans. We're seeing our nation so divided right now. What is what are your thoughts on that and getting people more more united and on the same page because there's so many things going wrong in our country and in the world that we need to come together. I agree and I think that the, I I think it really begins at the community level. I think mm -hmm. it's people sitting down together talking about where they are in 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 Lakewood, Ohio or where they are in Garfield Heights or in Cleveland Heights. I mean it's mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. uh uh, thinking about how how do we make things work in our own community, and from there, I mean, I, I found um, that I could work with Republicans as well as Democrats. Things have changed. I think that, frankly, one of the systematic uh, issues is the way in which 
uh, legislative districts are gerrymandered. I think mm -hmm. that encourages more extreme attitudes and rewards more extreme attitudes. So if I could if I could wave a magic wand and change one thing to improve the political conversation, I would get rid of uh, gerrymandered district and make everybody compete in very competitive districts. Mm. Incumbents yeah. don't like that. Mm -hmm. That's true. Governor Dick Celeste, In the Heart of It All is the name of the oh, book. The and, book is uh, great. Where can we pick it up? Uh, any, I think any bookstore or on online Amazon as well. or online, you know, the way they, we do it these and days. And a way to reconnect, way to get volunteer people yeah. to, to help out as well. Are you going to visit Thank your you. home, your childhood home oh, in yeah. Lakewood? I'm, I'm in Lakewood uh, regularly. I have uh, one, of my, one of my seven kids is there. Okay. Oh, that's great. Lakewood. Cleveland Heights, Shaker Heights, and Cleveland. Oh, I love uh, four, it. Four of the seven. It is such a treat to have yeah. you here. It's great to be thank here, you Stephanie. So much. Thank you, thank Todd. You. Thank you very this much. Is so nice. It's the great book to is be great. with you. We just scratched the surface. Yeah, really. Really, there's so much in this read, book, though. right? It is a good read.